we're live again we're uh a live i think the guy who started the live you know was uh he was just feeling a little extra than just live and i'm feeling um i'm feeling awoken today feeling great i'm feeling i'm glad everyone's here i'm uh really thankful to be in the place i'm in today uh the mariners won so that's uh that's big i got the the mariner sleeve on here i got this old shirt at that thrift shop those those thrift shops, man, they uh, they got some heat. Sometimes, like, you could find some old sports memorabilia there. And that's what I'm a fan of. I like finding old jerseys of old players. Of Like, uh, I think I saw Jamal Charles, Kansas City Chiefs jersey. And for all you youngins out there, I got a story about a certain player, man. This player, man, he almost revolutionized the running back position. If AP wasn't around, I definitely think he would take the, take the cake for me. In my opinion, I think Jamal Charles is one of the most explosive running backs I've ever seen. Yes, he was in a great system. He had a good line. But, man, he, when he would play, man, he was good. I'm not no Chiefs fan, but seeing Jamal Charles run the ball, I remember there was uh, he came to Seattle, I think, and played the Seahawks, and I think he had like two or three touchdowns or something. And I'm not disrespecting the Seahawks because I really, you know, I like my Seattle sports out here, but that was a crazy event. Um. I, I know a lot of Chiefs fans are saying, let's go, let's go, you know, saying let's go isn't just something you say to everything. I, I know, like, I only say let's go to certain things. I used to say it like, you know, when my mom would be like, all right, we can get McDonald's on the way home. Let's go. You know, the, the Baltimore Ravens, Seattle Seahawks score a touchdown. Let's go. Or, you know, uh. Someone cancels plans that you didn't really want to do in the first place. Let's go. You know, those can even be in your head. You know, what makes you let's go, man? Let me know on the hotline, 425-320-3641. There's not a lot of things that can make me let's go. But anyways, let's get on into this episode today. Um, Today is October 7th as the time I am recording this. So I don't know what time it is or what day it is and what time you're listening to this. Because some people, I've had some people say, hey, Dom, I listen to the show and, uh, I'm going from start to finish. You're in for a hurt of listening sometimes, man. You know, I'm really, really grateful for my first episodes and stuff. And um, actually, I think like my first six were really good because I had guests on my first six. Um, But man, my like and then after those six initial guests was the first time I was like solo for DJP. I have solo on sports stuff, but that's a little different. So um if you scroll back to like episodes 10 through 30 they're more of like a diary um kind of like me being a little preachy and that's uh i've tried to evade away from being preachy um but um you know we're we're here today and I'm, i'm just really thankful and um today i've been really thinking about sports and not so much in the the sense of um You know, like I have nothing else to talk about with you guys, but man, sports are like a big part of my life. And, um, you know, if you're not a big sports person, you go ahead and just press that little plus 15 seconds for a couple times. And I bet you by then I'll be done talking about sports. But the Mariners uh, finally won their first game of the postseason in like 21 years. Um, The Seahawks are two and two with a backup, Geno Smith. Uh, The Baltimore Ravens uh, continue to um, blow leads. And, uh, 
yeah, that's like that's like big sports news in my in my book. Um, but I'm really excited for that. So, but what what brings me to this? Why why does why do I want to talk about sports? I actually received a voicemail from my brother actually, and I want to play this for you guys. What up, Dom? I'm uh, just calling to ask what your favorite fantasy picks are for the year. Ooh, my favorite fantasy picks are for the year. Ah oh, man, um, here's the thing about my fantasy picks, Luke. Um, my fantasy picks, I in one of my leagues, I I, had, I did too many leagues this year. I did like five fantasy leagues, and I don't recommend doing more than probably three fantasy leagues because as soon as you start doing that, it's like mix ups and stuff like that, and you're like, oh, I want to win in this league, I don't want to win in this league. But anyway, my favorite picks are like that I personally did this year. I think Nick Chubb was one of my favorite picks I did this year. Aaron Jones was a pretty solid pick. I also was one of the guys who picked him on St. Brown. Um, he's actually questionable some weeks with uh, his injuries and stuff, but, man, he was a sleeper pick. But my biggest fantasy dud pick of the year. Oh, man, should I even? My biggest fantasy dud pick, I actually have um, Javante Williams and Matt Stafford in the same league, and uh, they're both. I mean, Javante Williams is out for the year. You know, I don't wish injury on anyone. Um but yeah, he's out, and Matt Stafford wasn't what I planned to be, panned out to be, and I believe I had another dud. But um, I think the fantasy person to have this year that I I slept on, and I don't know why I slept on it, um, Saquon Barkley. Saquon Barkley fell into the late rounds of fantasy football this year, maybe late first, early second, and I picked Javante Williams over him. So yeah, that's that wasn't really the the highlight of my fantasy career. So uh, let's see what else he has. Who do you think is doing the best? Um, mainly because I miss weekly take. Bring it back, but uh, let us know. Yeah, you know, I, I actually did bring weekly take back. It's actually going to be live on Daybreak Star Radio from 11 a.m. Uh, Pacific Standard Time. I was actually, uh, my boss wanted me to bring it back, so I said, yeah, sure. So that's a like a 30-minute show with a little bit of classic rock and stuff, so if you guys want to check that out, be sure. Um, but weekly take... um. I think I want to bring it back and uh, market it into a different way. I haven't really thought about it, though. Um, I definitely do think um, uh, Weekly Take needs to come back in some sort. Um, and for those of you guys who don't know what fantasy football is, uh, again, it is like a thing where people can um, get you know football players and that you get points for every yard or touchdown they get. That's basically all it is, um, like long story short. And then also... Um, what is weekly t- weekly take is I don't know if you guys you guys have probably definitely heard me ramble on about weekly take by now. It was my old sports podcast I did before this. So shout out to Luke for giving me a, a shout, man. That's awesome, man. I've been actually playing video games with my brother on Tuesdays and Wednesdays, and um, you know those are some really great times. I really look forward to those times, um, dude. I, I mean, I love playing video games too, dude. I'm a video game guy. I mean, I do the pod, I go to school, I go to work and stuff, I work out, and I try to, I try to, you know, get video games in there for sure. Um, but yeah, dude, I'm a sucker for it, man. Like, I would 10 times out of 10 rather, like, play video games than do go out and do something. If it's late at night, you know, everyone's on, hey, man, I'm sign me up. But what else do we got going on in the world? Um, you know, enough with the sports today. Uh, what have I been seeing online? Um... I've actually been seeing a lot of Mr. B stuff, and he's a pretty cool content creator. If you guys haven't heard of him by now, he's like that YouTube guy who just buys people's stuff all the time. But I feel like it's pretty cool. Like he did this one video where um, some guy, he was like, hey, man, can you help us move furniture? And he's like, sure, into this new house. And they're like, we'll pay you some money. And then he's like, oh, cool. And then it ended up like they he helped him, and Mr. Beast was like, yeah, at the end, man, uh, sorry, we can't pay you. And the guy was like, oh, no worries. And he's like, but we moved all the furniture into your house for you. And he didn't really get it, you know, but he was like, wait, what? And that's just dope, man. Can you imagine, like, just living and, you know, you you deliver, um, you know, you get your pizza, or not your pizza, your uh, your stuff. And, um, you're, no, you're living, you're tipping, you're, you're a delivery driver, you drive up, Mr. Beast opens the door, you don't know who he is. And you're like, oh, yeah, I'll help you out for a few thousand bucks. Sure, I mean, I'm at this job. I need to make some money anyway. And then all of a sudden, you're, you're a homeowner? It's pretty crazy, man. 
But anyways, I have another voicemail here that I would love to play. Um, you know, let's just get right into it. I don't want to spoil anything that actually came in. But remember, you guys can always call into the, the DJP hotline, which is 425-320-3641. Again, 425-320-3641. Let's get this going right here. Yo, what's up, Dom? I'm a listener from the first go. Yo, first time, you know, listener from the first go. Really appreciate that, man. And, um, yeah, let's keep going. I was actually introduced by YafPod. Why? YafPod. What is YafPod? YafPod is your auntie's favorite podcast. Um, but, yeah, th- that's awesome, man. That's uh, that's really cool that you've uh, you've connected through that. Let's, let's listen um, to the whole thing this time. Since they're shutting it down, you're now my favorite podcast. I love the new um, intro music. That R&B soul vibe is just, just fits it, man. Um, anyways, I'm calling from, uh, Chandler AZ. My name's Michael. Like I said, I'm a big fan. And, uh, yeah, man, keep doing you. Uh, waiting for the next episode, man. See you later. Dude, man, that's, that's special, man. You know, I first listened to this and I was like, man, that's really dope. And I listened to it like two times. I'll be honest to you, Michael. And uh, thank you for those wise words, man. Um, yeah, that's that's really awesome. You know, um, you know what? Hopefully he's cool with this. Let's actually give this guy a call. I'm not going to tell you guys his number, by the way. I'm just going to type it on here. Hello? Hey, is this Michael? Yeah, what's up, man? I just... I was just listening to your message right now. <laughs> yeah, I just want to... I usually don't call back. I'm usually one of those guys. I'm like, oh, they're busy, man. But I just wanted to... Call and say thanks for calling in, man. That really meant a lot to me. And uh, oh, I listened yeah, to your message sure, like dude. three times, bro. <laughs> that? I listened to your message like three times. I just wanted to extend the thank oh. you. <laughs> yeah, man, no problem. Like I said, I'm a fan. And um, I like I always listen. And I'm like, man, I'm going to call in sometime. So today I had a little bit of time. Mm-hmm. And I was like, yeah, I'm going to see what this hotline's about. Right on, man. Well, uh, for calling in, I just, um, if you could text me your email, I'd love to send you like a little DoorDash gift card or something. Um, just as a thank yeah, you. Dude, thank you. Yeah, that's cool. Yeah. So, um, can, you know, just thanks for listening every day or, you know, whenever you can, uh, means a lot, man. I just wanted to, you know, say thank you over the phone and I hope you have a good day, man. Hey, back right back at you. You're welcome for show. Yeah. I support you. I like the show. Uh, I like your uh, comedy. It's pretty funny. <laughs> and um, yeah, just keep. Thanks, cool. brother. Like I said, you know, I don't want to have pop and down, but I know uh, what's going you're, on you're keeping that. the content going. I appreciate it. Yep, I'm going to have to stay strong for him, man. I, I miss those guys. I mean, I just, I was sad to hear the news too. I, I called them up. I was like, what the heck, man? You guys got to keep going. I'm trying. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. All, All right, right man. cool. Yeah, I'll, I'll send you a text right now. And um, I'll keep listening. Right on, brother. Well, you have a good one, man. You too, man. Take care. Yep. Bye. Yeah, that was uh, that was dope. You know, there's a lot of people out there spreading positivity, and I'm real thankful for it. And yeah, that's that was really cool. Of him and uh, remember, you guys can also call into the hotline at four two five three two zero three six four one. I'm starting to say that number fast. That number's starting to almost be in your guys' head so much. Like, if you guys are ever in trouble, um, maybe it's going to be stuck in your head a little bit. Because I know some people, they'll go into, like, you know, the, the drunk tank or something, and they only get one phone call. Don't let that number be the DJP hotline. You know, I don't want to hear about, hey, man, bail me out. But maybe if you, uh, if you know you're going to get bailed out and you can give a call or something, maybe, but... Um, I don't know if that's the wisest decision to give me a call because <laughs> I don't get the call back. Like I have to go look to see who called. I don't have a setup to no number. It's just an online like database number. But, um, yeah, that's the hotline. You guys can always call in and do your thing. You know, um, 
I really appreciate, you know, so we got uh, Luke and Michael for the calls this week, and that was real cool. Um, what else have I been up to? Who and what and where and why and how? Um, and sometimes why? Those were usually the five things that they were said, the five questions you can ask someone. You know, what happened, how did it happen, where, when, and why? It was kind of like the A-E-I-O-U's of questions and sometimes why. You know, I'd always be like, oh, yeah, A-E-I-O-U and sometimes why. And I used to argue, too, that sometimes my first word was and. You know, like that I remember learning because I know I've obviously probably said mom and stuff or stuff like that as a kid. But I remember like, you know, you'd have to sing the whole ABCs. A, B, C, D, E, F, G, H, H, A, K, L, M, N, O, P, Q, R, S, T, U, V. Next time, won't you sing with me? I guess, yeah. I don't know why I thought and next and time and won't you sing with me. Those are words. See, man, I don't even know what I'm saying at the time. And um, I used to think that was kind of like a little trick. You know, learning songs is like a little hack to learning their language. I was listening to Santana, and, uh, you know, I almost was like, man, I'm singing along. I say these at a pub somewhere in Mexico. Maybe uh, I'll make somewhat sense. Or, you know, you could sing Bad Bunny lyrics and maybe it sounds like, uh, you know, what you're talking about. Or I just sound really, really racist right now. And if I do, I'm sorry. So let's just get the sorries off our chests already. Um, yeah, but I, um, going back to those voicemails, uh, I think the DoorDash thing was because it's something I know people like to do. I know people like to DoorDash because I like to DoorDash sometimes, so... Um, anything I could kind of like give and help and, you know, do anything like that. I'm, I'm more than happy. Just like I was talking to you guys about that Mr. Beast guy. He does some really cool stuff and people are probably like, why didn't you give no money to Luke? Yeah, maybe I do own that guy. I don't think I owe him like a, a Fortnite skin by now. And I don't know if you guys are ever big gamers or anything like that, but my brother did gift me a Fortnite skin the other day. It was the Goku one. And that was pretty dope. So thanks, Luke, for that Fortnite skin. If I haven't told you, thank you already. Um, yeah, that guy, he's doing great things. You know, you guys, I don't know if you guys have siblings, whoever's listening. But if you do, man, siblings are crazy when you have them. And obviously it wasn't up to me. But, like, as you get older, you start realizing, like, oh, man, my sibling wants to, like, do stuff that I do. And then, you know, you have someone to always bond with. And uh, I'm really appreciative of that. What should I do? My hair's all crazy. I guess I could just... I think I left my hat in here. Hold on. Oh, yeah. There we go. Just put my hat on. That That actually feels a little bit better. Because um, my hair is getting a little crazy there. Um, 17 minutes in, what else can we talk about? What is going on in the news today? I think I always like to go talk and see what's going on in the news. So let's just look at, uh, Seattle times because that's where I'm at. And it never hurts to figure out what's going on in the local news. All right. Yeah. Mariner show. They're unfazed by post season big stage. Yes, sir. That's a big one. Um, what else is big in the news? Um, Jeez, all the all that's in the Seattle Times right now is just Mariners and Russell Wilson's performance. Like, damn, like I'm kind of all for that. Um, let's go to the Onion. I like the like I like fun news. I think the Onion has funny news. America's finest news source. Um, Tom Brady urges Rob Gronkowski to join him for last year of marriage. See, look, another sports thing. Yeah, we don't really got to go down these sports things. Um, oh yeah, I can go into the, um, questions people have been giving me on, um, on the podcast because people send in questions. They like text me. Um, they don't, some people don't like leaving voicemails. Okay, here we go. This one comes from A L D E Y. Is that all day? Okay. What would you like? No. If you could change something in the world, what would it be? Um, and I'm not really trying to beg on this question. If I could change one thing in the world, what would it be? Um, 
actually, if you go look at my Diary of the Wimpy Kid part time or no Diary of the Wimpy Kid journal, it was like a book that you got to like fill out. It was like Diary of the Wimpy Kid do it yourself book. And in that book, I put, you know, things that everyone should be able to get or something. And I wrote, like, everybody should have 100 dogs. Or if I was president, what would I would do? And I think I said that was my number one wish. Give everybody 100 dogs. And now that I think about that, I, I thought that was kind of like everyone was, of course, everyone would love 100 dogs. But now I'm like, man, if someone gave me 100 dogs, I don't even know what I would do. Yeah, so that was one of my problems that I thought would fix the world was giving people 100 dogs. What if, you know, you can't house 100 dogs? Like, if I had 100 dogs, I wouldn't even know what to do. They wouldn't even fit in the place I live in or the studio we record in here. Like, that's insane to me, just thinking of that many animals. I mean, some people with barns can do it, of course, but not people in apartments or people in, like, studios or people in you know one bedrooms that's for sure um let's see we have another question here from i think it's oh they just said america is their name so that's uh that's okay do you collect anything and what is it and why oh man what do i collect um i don't really collect much I mean, I collect debt from uh, sports gambling. That's probably the number one thing I collect. Um, but other than that, I don't really collect much. I I used to kind of collect Jordans. I had the Jordan Bordeaux for a while, and then I had uh, I have the Jordan Seven and Sevens. But those are the only two Jordans I have. Um, I was really into Jordans and I still am. I, I still respect the game of Jordans, but um, I just can't, you know, like as soon as it got to the point where people were like making bots to like obtain shoes online, that's when I stopped like trying because I can't compete with a bot that can buy a shoe in an instant. Like every time I would like get in like a line to like buy like a new retro high pair of Jordans, I would lose. And then, you know, after you lose so many times, it's like, I don't even want them anymore. And it's like, then you get them and it's like, then you don't even want to wear them. I'm not hating on Jordans, but like, that's why I dropped out of like trying to collect them. Like, but the ones I really like, like those N7, uh, sevens I have, like I just bought those just used. I think, I think I bought them used and they were still like 300 bucks, but You know, if I see ones I really like, I really like the Citrus 11s for a long time. And I still do like the Jordan Citrus 11s. And um, the reason I never got them is because my feet are like just just like a size bigger than they're usually supposed to be. They only go up to a certain size. But they might have updated it by now. They might have had like a newer release. So all the sneaker heads in here are just like, oh my God, he doesn't know. But um, yeah, my top... my. My favorite Jordans would probably be the N77s. Um, I really like the Citrus 11s. Um, I really like the Oreo 4s. Um, what's another good pair I like? I really like, of course, the, the Jordan 1 uh, Chicago's. And then um, the, oh God, the Barons are really cool. Um, yeah, I'm I'm just those are probably my top 5 favorite Jordans of, you know, the ones that I like. Um I also really like the old LeBron's, like the LeBron 11 and 12. So those are really cool looking. I used to I used to be that guy, man. You know, the people that make the meme and like in middle school, the guy who'd wear the pants and the Jordans or the oh, that was me. I'd wear pants and like my LeBron's or the Hyperdunks as a kid. I thought that was so cool. But I remember like before stance socks, because stance socks are kind of big now, I used to wear elite socks. But at first, like elite socks used to be like twenty two bucks, and that was unheard of. People were like twenty two bucks for some socks. But man, that created like a whole new industry. I remember people would walk around with like the Nike slides and um, elite socks a lot. And I ain't forget, man. I I ain't forget people were were wearing two pairs of elite socks now. I ain't forget that. You know, people always also had like the fight in uh, necklaces too. Those were pretty popular and I think they're still popular, but 
yeah, it was like fighting necklaces of your favorite team and elite socks with slides in the winter time. Like I remember those things. Like a common like thing people would wear here in the Pacific Northwest at in high school and middle school, I feel like was like like slides with elite socks on, black Nike shorts, and then a North Face zip up. That was like the look. I guess I don't know why I don't know what the look is now, um, but I remember in high like in college like my first year of college, the look started turning into like the black jeans and the jean jacket. Oh man, that was like the move for everybody. I remember I even went and bought like a jean jacket, and then I had black pants on, and I just like I was like, man, I just feel like a sheep right now. You guys ever like start wearing what everyone else is wearing? And like, you're like, oh, I could rock that. And then you do it. And then you just feel like a sheep. That happened to me one time. I bought this Nike sweatshirt and I swear I bought, I saw like nine other people wearing the same thing, which is fine. I'm not like, oh my God, I need to change. But I was just like, man, I, I just feel like a sheep. So now I just wear like random stuff all the time. Um, Like this Mariner shirt, dope, thrifted. I just really like the sleeve on the side. You know, I... I think I when I make merch, I might put nothing on the front and nothing on the back, and I might just put a patch on the right or the left sleeve. I just think there's something really cool about having something on your sleeve. Um, but, yeah, I don't really collect much. Um, I would probably, yeah. Um, I used to try to um, collect these monster things from McDonald's toys. I'm going to show you guys. Um, McDonald's monster toys. Um, let's see. I wonder if they can even, if they'll even remember which one I'm talking about. Oh my God. They found him. Of course. One Google search 2003 McDonald's toy quest stretch screamers. Yes. I remember these McDonald's stretch screamers. They're not that much. You can only get, they're like nine 99. Yeah. Here it is. McDonald's. <laughs> yes, this is what I used to collect right here. McDonald's 2003 Stretch Screamers. Stretch Screamers. And uh, it was like this one cyborg looking dude. This uh, mummy. He was rare. This guy was very rare. And then there, yeah, so the cyborg guy with the bionicle arm. Then the, the reptile dude, I had a lot of him. And then the guy that was like purple had the brain in him. Kind of looked like Minion from um, Megamind. And there was a skeleton with the rib cage. He was pretty dope. And then there was like the the doctor guy. Oh my god, I remember this. I feel like I should buy those just to be like that guy. Oh man, that was that was definitely something I do remember um collecting. Yeah, that was like a thank you for the question. Um America who asked me that uh question. And some people actually are named America, so I'm not trying to clown or nothing, but um, because I know when the new Marvel movie came out and there's that new America Chavez girl, um, her name was America. So people do get themselves named that. So I'm not trying to clown or nothing. Um, what else we got here real quick? Last question before we move on, before we get on out of here, how many languages do you speak? I only speak one. Let's see if we could scroll back. Oh yeah, there's two more right here. How, what do you do to keep fit? No, nah, I'm not going to tell everyone that. They don't need to know all that. Sorry. Um, do you have a nickname? Yeah, I do. It's uh, Dom. D-O-M, Dom Joseph. And I'm not trying to hate on your guys' questions. I just, um, those are those are a little easier to answer. And uh, to be honest with you guys, the last two questions were made up. So I'm not even uh, mad at anyone. So don't get your, don't get all butthurt about it because uh, I was talking to the computer. Um yeah, and also, you know, I think I should tell you guys another thing. I, um, I've um i been playing Super Smash Bros. on the Nintendo Switch, and uh, I'm a Falco main. So, uh, yeah, that's the icebreaker. So if you guys are wondering, I wonder what character he uh, uses in Super Smash Bros. Ultimate. It's Falco, man. Anyways, um, I'll see you guys next week. Thank you guys for uh, listening. Remember, you guys can always call on the hotline, 425-320-3641. Give me a call. We can, uh, I'll call you back on live maybe, and uh, we can go from there. So I'll see you guys next week. All right.